of top eight qualifiers, we're going to have Tachikawa from Japan versus Wawa from the EU, from France itself. This is a really exciting one. So this is the other EU player that we could still see in our top eight. Wawa definitely favored to make it. Wawa just won, um, what was it, EG? I mean, EGX, I believe. EGX, I believe, out there in uh, the EU. And uh, it was quite it was quite a celebration over there when he won. So I'm sure everyone from home is watching right now. I'm getting excited for Wawa, but I'm Close also that. really excited for Tachikawa to still not be out yet. Tachikawa coming all the way from Japan. Um, most of the other Japanese players probably sitting on a decent amount of points oh, right yeah, now. Not sure. really needed to come out to this one, especially with Red Bull Japan coming up mm -hmm. and uh, Red Bull Spain. So. Yeah, big chances to get points there. But Tachikawa trying to get every point he can possibly get, right? So he's here in Puerto Rico at first attack. Get the power up candy going real quick. Yeah, I think he's had a little bit of trouble uh, the last couple uh, events mm -hmm. here. I think especially finding a team that worked again for him because, you know, he was like kind of the hipster uh, player at first, you know, playing hit Frieza and Android 18 for a while at Combo Breaker. We yes. saw that and evolved to now what is his team dropping all three of those characters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? He has uh, put them all in the injured reserve. He's uh, brought to the starting lineup, the Team Gohan, the GT Goku, and the Yamcha. He's definitely looking to win at the character select screen. However, his signature character, Frieza, was the character that sent him to losers at the helm of Chris G. I think that's karma. <laughs> Might be a little bit. I think that's karma. Or maybe Chris G found all seven Dragon Balls and his Frieza used them to wish himself a little bit taller. Uh, yeah. And that was the advantage that he had on him. Chris a taller G. Frieza. Maybe his Frieza was taller than Tachikawa's Frieza. I mean, I, but being tall in this game is not good. That's true. Yeah, maybe then he'd get fuzzy. Maybe it shrunk his uh, Frieza. Maybe he shrunk himself just to like be like GT Goku size. There we just couldn't go. see it. If he, only. It shrunk his hitbox that we couldn't <laughs> see. Yeah. All right, we got Wawa coming up here, though. Let's talk about Wawa. So, you know, obviously a connoisseur of, uh, you know, base Goku, right? Yeah, I mean, I think of Dragon Ball Fighters in general, right? He plays so many members of the cast. At EGX, we saw him play some Gogeta. Mm -hmm. What is this team? What is this uh, button check team from Tachikawa right here? The Krillin, the Majin Buu, and the Videl? I mean, maybe he's just going to show us some Krillin tech that we have never seen here. Maybe it's some okay. special rock throws. <laughs> I was about to say, because the Wawa does have a, a lot of the cast under his belt, right? Like I said, we've seen him play so many teams. But, of course, his main business, his main chicken is what I think we're going to get right now. Yeah, his Gohan is really good, too. I really do love seeing his Gohan. The one thing that I didn't agree with yesterday that uh, was in the game that he sent got sent to losers with was he switched from his Gohan after doing... It was Nakiel that sent yeah. him to, to losers. And the one thing I didn't agree with was he got rid of Gohan and switched in Bardock. And, it, and his Bardock got just exploded. Yeah. And, and, and <laughs> it was weird because he didn't really lose the first game by much. So his Gohan was doing a good job. There was no need for it, honestly. Yeah, man, we're seeing the adult Gohan back in action up against Tachikawa in this first game. And yeah, Wawa just in general, I think has been one of the most inspiring Dragon Ball Fighters players in 2019. He's just brought incredible tech to the table. In general, his decision making and adjustments are out of this world. Again, I'm very surprised to see him in losers top eight qualifying match. It's it's definitely I think if there was any upsets of the of this tournament so far, that is definitely one of the bigger ones. Yeah. The only thing is that uh Wawa did lose to Nakio last year at UFA. So Nakio does have his number, but besides that, I think just with how much of an overall favor Wawa was, it is indeed an upset. Ooh, got put there by the Yanta assist for a second. Alright, Tachikawa being very respectful here with spacing, trying to make his move in though, throwing out these key blasts, staggering them. Yeah, both of these players know their tournament life is on the line here, right? So no one's trying to make any reckless maneuvers. We do have a uh, base Goku assist on deck, but he's not gonna have the chance to use it just yet. Tachikawa finds the hit. Are we gonna see a snap out? We are. The character to bring in here and get rid of as fast as you can, which he is already making quick work of, is that base Goku. Yeah, it's going to be the character Tachikawa has the least matchup experience against. It's one of the most deadly characters in Wawa's hands. Now he's going to play the snap meta. Force him to play one character at a time, and we're going to spark up. Oh, gets that cross-up super dash, though. Not a good place for Wawa to be sitting at, especially after using that sparking. It's running out. Exactly. He's going to be able to get him down here, do another snap out. That sparking did nothing to get Wawa out of this oh. defense momentum. The dash up caught him hesitating Goes and then the got low. the 2 M. And he brings in GT Goku here too to end this. Oh man, he is dead. No oh, more yeah. base Goku for Wawa. We got the 
Level three, Spirit Bomb. I say, how he's gonna follow it up. No Dragon Rush. That's Sari just gonna play it nice and safe all the way through. Level one, level one, and that is a dead base Goku. Wawa being very made quick work of here by Tachikawa. Yeah. That loss to Christie's Frieza really uh, set the fire here for Tachikawa. Nice guard cancel the legs. Oh, trying to get some offensive momentum back here. Tachikawa staggering the strings. Oh, oh nice. the DP through it. I like that. And it's not something that you're going to expect Tachikawa to do because you don't really see him DP that much, yeah. ever. He likes his reversals, but it's usually like the level three, right? Not really the DP from Team Gohan. Precisely. And there he is. Well done. Another overhead open up. A lot of meter being built here. That's a dead Gohan if he completes the combo. He most definitely will. Dragon Rush DP into level one. Just needs one more to finish it. Just like that, Tachikawa barely touched right now. Has a little bit of health taken away from his team going, but that is it and still sitting on Sparking. Wawa is in danger here of losing this first game. That was a sick power pull extension. Yamcha obviously pushing the opponent oh. away. Oh, punishes the whiff reflect with the Dragon Flash Fist. All right, I like the guard cancel out of the corner. Almost got caught there with that air to air and gonna get hit by the Gohan. Or, oh my God. Yeah, the team yeah. Gohan assist yeah. caught him. Yeah, and he converts off of it. That means that Wawa's Goku is dead and Tachikawa wow. overwhelmingly takes the first game. He is hungry for those points. I don't know what was in that candy that he ate, but he is powered up. He was a bulldog in Wawa that Ooh. game. Just all over him. Maybe it's gum. Maybe he's chewing on gum. Yeah, I mean, he's still chewing, so <laughs> that's either a hearty candy or something, you know. Maybe more. it's some uh, secret Japanese tech that we have not seen yet with candy. Yeah, I know I know. Super New is always trying to be on the latest latest hip tech to what the Japanese players are doing outside of the game, like the, the speed reading that Goichi does, the uh, the eye drops, the Roto Zs, the candies. I still don't know about those eye drops. I oh. heard it's literally like putting mint in your eyes, and I cannot fathom. I cannot fathom that, Ringe. It's like, you know, the feel of like brushing your teeth? That's how it feels on your eyes, I, but it burns a little bit more. I don't like that. <laughs> I... I don't like that But you that can go from idea. seeing in 1080p to 4K. Don't you want that? But the there might be. Element? But what if there's lag? 4K TVs have a lot of nah, lag. Not when you All take right. the Roto Zs. You think Goichi's going to get sponsored by someone with lag? Never uh, that. You know, maybe Goichi's just that god. Like, it doesn't matter. That, that's fair. That's true. He is that godlike. He is a god. All right, game two now. Tachikawa did take the first one, and we got Wawa switching to the Cell, right? We saw him switch his character after losing the first game yesterday. But, man, hopefully the Cell does more work than the Bardock. Yeah, I don't know about this. It is not necessarily the position that we want to see Wawa in right now, especially for those who are fans of Wawa. Gets hit by that. Ooh, that is unfortunate. Yeah, I like the idea of starting Cell just because you don't have to deal with the fuzzy setups on the incoming, but, man, he already snapped them out. Nice Dragon Rush tech, though. Wawa going to get a chance to play with his base Goku. Tosses oh. them back. There we go. Let's see the Wawa that we all know and love. Yeah, we need that Wawa special there. Three bars already built. Crazy. Lend me your hands. Got level one of the spirit ball. Oh, tries to counter the uh, guard cancel. Wow, the elbow coming through. And he alley used to himself. Oh, and the crowd is going wild over it, too. Base Goku is so entertaining, man. Nice spark from Tachikawa. Doesn't want to take any more of this pressure. It's wild, too, because when this character came out, everyone was complaining at first. They were like, another Goku. But it is a very exciting Goku. They did a really great job at making him unique. Absolutely. Tachikawa ends up getting the hit after whiffing the last hit of his auto combo, just going right back into it. Wawa a little late on the punish. I agree with the sparking here. Cell in the corner is not a place he wants to be. Great use of the sparking with the vanish to get that hit. That was beautiful, holding the mash, getting the L on the other side. Now the Solar Kamehameha for the long knockdown. The knockdown right into that level three. Oh, got caught back dashing with that uh, raw tag. Yeah. All right, snapping in base. Goku knows his character is a problem. He tried to get him with the hesitation 2M again, but Wawa more discipline oh. this time, and then punishes the whip reflect with a 2M of zone. I love it. Here we go, extending with the beam, going right into the Kaioken. Beautiful here. Takes him towards the corner. Oh! oh. <laughs> Stuffs the up tag. You're going to stay on the ground. I'm going to command throw you. And this is going to be, I believe, enough. Yeah, do the energy field. You got this. Wawa coming back from that first game. Looking better with this cell. And once he gets cooking on that base Goku, man, it's hard to stop him. Yeah, but is it even, you know, yeah, it, I think it's all the base Goku, really. Like, cell's great and all, but Wawa's base Goku? Yeah. A wee wee. Yeah. That's definitely what was cooking in this game, too. 
Yeah, jumping over now. Tanshikawa with the solo Yamcha. I mean, we've seen him come back with this character before. Nice, perfect attack punish. Doesn't have a sparking, but still a big damage starter. And he has two assists on deck if he can extend this. Here we go. Hug him. Hug it out, boys. Oh, drop. Oh, yeah, too much hit stun on that to actually get the command throw afterwards. Oh, I love the defense here and the great reflect off of that. Oh, we'll try for the H, perfect attack. Did attack Goku for a little bit of damage, but he's trying to get this base Goku done with. Okay, great tech there from Wawa. Base Goku playing offense right into the Dragon Rush to Wawa, you maniac. Yeah, Tachikawa was looking for the dash OS right there, right? He dashed directly into the arms. Usually the dash OS, you press the button late enough to actually get the tech on the Dragon Rush, but not successful with Tachikawa that time. It is one up here in our last match to see who completes our top eight. He was doing so much work in that. He was making uh, Tachikawa look lay competent. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, brush the mullet. Gain the power uh, from it. If he braid, you know, if he braided it, he might have like uh, like Jedi powers. I was gonna say, yeah, like yeah. That, that's a mean Jedi rat tail right yeah, there. <laughs> and it, it, you know, speaking of rat tails, he does have GT Goku on his team. You right. So channeling it, but he's gonna find that hit with the low. Yeah, while well, waking up with some stuff, I'm not sure it was perfect attack or a button. Either way, it gets counter hit. I don't know, brushing the, brushing the mullet seemed to do a good job here because he's already coming into this first game strong with the snap. He really wants his base go through dead though. Great block on the low after the legs and assist. Punishes the whiff reflect. It was with a 2L though, right? So Wawa could have been hurting a bit more. Yeah, I thought Wawa had it there too, but Tachikawa delayed that next hit. Yeah, he was going to be forced into a fuzzy situation there, so Wawa just uses the sparking to bypass <gasps> that, but he completes the conversion off the GT Goku assist. Yeah, that GT Goku assist, and Wawa, or, uh, Tachikawa was ready for it too, and got this level 3 off now on Wawa. Goes run up in the Dragon Rush, it's going to be a dead cell. No sparking, down to two characters. This is not a good game three so far for Wawa. And no damage on any of Tachikawa's life bars either. Good. Okay. Dragon Rush Tech again, man. The reactions of the young man Wawa. The elbow, yep. Okay. Again, Al even to himself off the Goku assist. All right. Oh, DP's right through it. And again, that's something that you're, you're going to be conditioned not to really expect from Tachikawa because he doesn't really DP a lot. Oh, and he gets the falling mix-up again on Wawa's base Goku here. He's got enough mirror to kill him off. He just got to finish the combo, and he does. Level one Ooh. into the level three. Make sure he's dead. Make sure that GT Goku's on point for this last character as well. Wow. Wawa's got all the meter in the world, but no other characters, no sparking. Tachikawa's super healthy, and then counters the 2F opener with a super dash. Super dash is in. I would, that's like something I just don't expect too for him to do, but it's working, and he gets that overhead after yeah. the Yamcha assist. Whiffing the Dragon Flash Fist and then air dashing while he was falling to get that mix up. Great stuff. Level 3 again, just trying to whittle this life bar down on Wawa. Not caring if he gives up the corner, he just wants those hard knockdowns. Oh, trying to go back to the original side, doesn't get it, and now Wawa has a window of opportunity. All right, Wawa trying to do what he can still with what he has left. Not a lot of health left. Sit, at least he's using some of these bars. Yeah, I like that. He's going to vanish him out of the corner, so the level 3 puts him back in the corner. Goes in the jump medium, some staggers here. Almost got a hit, did not really commit to it. Goes into the Dragon Rush. This is going to be a dead GT Goku at least, so one character left for him not to have to worry about here. Oh, perfectly calculated by Wawa. The last hit, killing off the GT Goku. Only one meter spent. It's going to have to be scary. This is the character to, I think, really get rid of here for uh, Wawa. If he can get rid of uh, Team Gohan somehow. I can't believe they floated next to each other in the air. Just kill it, but the wow. cross up instant air dash finishes the job for oh Tachikawa. Takes it 2 God. 1 over Wawa. Beautiful stuff. Tachikawa sneaking in that instant air dash. Team Gohan is so fast that he can combo off of it with the legs, and he does so. Tachikawa makes top eight, and Wawa, the person I consider the favorite to take the entire tournament, falls one game short of top eight. I think we only have one EU 
in RMZ. top eight. RMZ made it from the UK. Who, I mean, no disrespect to RMZ, but I'm sure Shanks and Wawa are more favored to make the top eight than he yeah, is. Yeah, right? but shout out to him. That's going to, like, you know, he's already on the map and he's yeah. been on the map, but this is, like, you know, really big for him. And I think this is really big to Tachikawa taking that. I think Tachikawa really needed yes. those points. Yeah. Really needed those points. He needs the points and he needs just, I think, the moral, like, boost from these Ws, right? Tachikawa has been having a lot of struggles. You can see him dancing <laughs> he's over just there. Dancing for us. <laughs> yeah. So big ups to him.